anyway, Lady, God willing. You knew your prophet, he mentioned many hadith, and all of them say clearly that you will be given in the heaven to one of the Muslim men. You will not have any except one man. He will have many women in the top of them, all his wives on earth. And I can show you the hadith. And you know what it exists there, but you are trying to deny that or trying to avoid to talk about. Isn't it your prophet, he said, that you will get all those whore in the top of them, your wife on earth? Yes or no? Can you repeat that? I don't did your prophet, understand. did your prophet uh -huh. says, you will get all, uh, not you, sorry, the man, you will get all the women, mm -hmm. he, Allah promised him, in the top of them, all his wives and earth, correct? Okay. So, so you will be given to the man anyway, one of those men, Muslim Mujahideen or Muslim fighter or Muslim good believers, he is going mm -hmm. to be, you are a gift to him. You yourself are a reward of a man, but you will never be rewarded. Correct? Uh, can you just ask the question? Because I don't I'm know what you're trying the question. to say. <laughs> the man, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't know if it's a station, but something is getting in the way. I don't know if it's okay, static. No problem. But no problem. Okay. It, you know, your voice I'll, is very distant. Okay. Can you repeat it again? No problem. Uh, listen to me from the phone, please, not from the from the uh, web page. Uh, your prophet, he said, Allah will yes. give the men in the heaven all the hur Allah grant them for, and in the top of mm -hmm. them all their women in earth. Correct? Okay. So, Trying you to yourself, what you're you yourself, you will be a reward for one of those men, which supposedly may be your husband now. But you will not get 72 men like him. No, you will be one of many women in his palace. So simply, instead of having one husband, four wives on earth. In husband, heaven? In heaven, yes. You're in heaven. <laughs> We're talking about heaven, baby. Okay. Okay. When you okay. go there, your husband, he will have his four wives. Like if he did marry in his lifetime, 50 wives, he will have them in his bedroom. In the top of them, the 72. Now, you yourself are reward, but you have no reward. Who are you to say that I have no reward? That is what the Prophet says. Hello? Your reward is to be with your husband, that's all. But the Prophet never mentioned what else is what there in heaven. He only mentioned certain parts. That's what I mean about the Quran. What else? Like, like Bible what, what and Torah and Quran. You will be with your husband. It's, there's certain parts that are not mentioned. Like and what? you cannot say that only heaven consists of this. Heaven will only be the women being in a palace so are you saying to with me one missing, guy or something like that. You cannot, about, about you cannot be so literal and cannot focus on something that God okay, has I want to ask you about something else. As a part of a, what, about, what about Allah will give the man in the heaven beautiful boys to serve them? How do you explain that to me? Okay. Why? Sir, when we... Um, inshallah, you know, when, when we go to heaven, we are pure. And to be honest, personally, I don't mind who I, you know, what, what I'm doing in heaven, who I'm with, as long as I get there. That's the main point. And, mm. and that's, and if, and if I am in a palace with a lot of females and we have to share one man, honestly, I will be at ease. I will be at rest, knowing that I am in heaven. It's mm. it's it's a better thought and a better situation than being in hell. And that's all I really care about personally. Since you now, asked what I now, think, do you have a guarantee but, um, that this is really the main exist? the main now listen, sir, can I speak? Listen. the main the main thing is to focus on how to get to heaven instead of focusing on something so small like how many girls that does a guy get in heaven because that's only a certain part and not not every man who dies. In the name of God, gets that because some men don't do it the right way. They bomb themselves. They bomb other innocent people, and that that has nothing to do with the name of Islam. It has nothing to do with the Quran, because the Quran says that you die in the name of God, but you do not kill innocent people, and that men in what Texas innocent people innocent? killed innocent people, innocent and those people in 9/11 killed innocent, innocent people. What innocent but Allah people Allah Allah, God only knows if they're going to heaven or hell. But what they did was wrong. We are changing topic now. What innocent people in Islam? 
I'm sorry? What innocent people in Islam mean? Innocent people are those who don't deserve to be killed, are those who are not involved who deserve to be with killed, um, war who or violence who or causing, who causing any sort of dispute. Who that deserve to you be have killed? to be, for, for example, I'll give you an example where, inshallah, the men who die in this you know, in this place or this situation, inshallah, they will go to heaven. Inshallah, Allah, but I'm telling you a situation. Let's say, um, you know, I'm talking about right now. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. Tell me. Are you there? Um, until they die. Hey, re repeat again, please, because I, I lost your voice. Repeat again what you said. Can you repeat again? Decide to go and kill Israeli men. He is defending himself, defending his country, fighting in the name of God. Inshallah, he will go to heaven. Yeah, However, so one, if so a man uh, went uh, to the uh, supermarket, uh, blew himself listen, up, listen, and listen, blew other people... Listen, 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 listen. Just wait. I, I have to put you on mute because I want you to repeat again. I did not hear a word. I, I lost your phone for some reason. So I will, I will take you from a hold. Repeat again what you said, please. I did not hear anything. Go ahead. Do you hear me? Repeat again, please. I did not hear any word. Hello? I already told you what I... No, repeat again, it please. Seems like you, I lost my voice. It seems like lost, you don't want to hear it because I you know it's the voice, truth. Lady. Or you Trust don't want me. other people listening lady, to it you because can, you know you I speak the truth. To the show and you don't later. want them to hear what lady, I want to say lady, because you want them to, lady, to listen to the media. You want them to lady, listen to what lady, the media lady, says oops. and feel... What's wrong with you? This is a show is recorded. You can, when we play it later, you will see your voice is not coming through. I'm not lying to you. And I'm asking you to repeat it again, please. Because we did not hear a word. I'm not trying to silence you. Repeat again. If I want to silence you, I will not say repeat again, please. Go ahead. Repeat again. Okay. Okay. For a man to die in the name of God mm -hmm. the right way, again, I'm saying, inshallah, lal alam, I'm saying, you know, for jihad to be in the right way. Of course, there are many meanings for jihad, but one example is if a man died for his country for, in the name of God, in the name of dying for one god for his religion for his country for his people for his land is mm -hmm. if for example during a war the israeli palestinian conflict both sides know that they may die so if a palestinian man went and killed israeli men he's defending himself he's defending his country he's defending his land and the the jews is the israelis know they know that they're gonna fight back and subhanAllah, even the smallest kids throw rocks. That's a form of defense. That's a form of jihad because jihad is not a holy war. Jihad is when you, you struggle to do what's right, struggle to do justice in a situation where injustice is happening. And it can be, it can be so many things. For example, wearing hijab in the U.S. is a form of jihad because you're wearing it around people who hate your religion, around people who who hate the the thought of wearing hijab. So that's a form of, form of jihad. Another form of jihad is when you defend somebody uh, from a fight. If if two people are fighting and you defend, you defend a person because some person calls that boy a name and you say that's wrong, that's a form of jihad because you're, you're doing justice. So jihad in a way, it's not a holy war. It's not, it doesn't mean blow yourself up. It doesn't mean blow innocent people up. It means you do the right thing when when you are in a situation where people are doing are, are when people are going against you for the wrong reasons okay and it's happening everywhere sir but okay. it's most, now. mostly let's go for the and first thing you said the first thing you said when the palestinian he defend himself against the israeli he is doing jihad so how you explain to me allah in the quran in chapter 5 verse 21 saying to moses to go and kill the palestinian Again, Moses had a message by God at that time, oh, and whatever so he did, whatever he did, even though even though he had a even though he had a message by God to kill Palestinian, my people, that I consider my people, he had to kill them. He had to kill them. Okay, 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 to kill them. I'm sorry? Killing the Palestinian is good if they are not Muslims 